time. Okay, I'm making a video about the new Harry Potter trailer that just came out today, which I forgot about, and when I went to innocent.com, and I was like, ooh, ooh, gift. So, I watched it, and I looked down the little notes. No, I didn't write down a whole heck of a lot of these things. words. Okay, first thing. It's so cute, so and he's like, okay, if you haven't seen it, watch it, and then come back and watch this. Okay, now that you've watched it, I hope you have. Um, so I love when, like, the cutest part, one of the cutest things, because you know, there's some little cute stuff in the book. He's like, give me your hand. I know Lavender and Ron are kissing, and Hermione is being jealous and hitting with the book, and it's cute. Okay, one thing that got to me was, I mean, we all know, in the book, Remus does not, when Harry says to Remus, I think that, like, there's a Death Eater who's like, have you talked to Dumbledore about this? And Harry's like, yes. And he's like, what did, what, what did he say? And then Dumbledore said no. So Remus is like, okay. Then he said no, so it's not a Death Eater. But in the movie, no, it's Remus. That voiceover that said something that I'm along the lines of Voldemort has chosen Drake as a boy for a mission. That's Remus. We all know that's Remus. I think Remus is a good player. Or just something better that they have. They had. And, um. Okay. So, that doesn't happen. He never says that. He's he dead. Also, I like that the integrated muggles more in. I really like what they did in the thing. Um, one thing you also get seen is Slughorn's not fat. I want a fat Slughorn. I want the guy that looks like a fucking chair. Because in the book, he looks like a chair. I want a chair. I mean, I love the guy who's flying Slughorn's a good actor. He's really good. But he needs a fatter. He needs a put fat suit on him. I don't know what they're going to do for that scene where he's fucking hidden. Um, also, the screaming boy. Now, the screaming boy, which is in this trailer, and I think the last trailer, along with the, you can see that game also in the the rocket. The screaming boy could be two people, I think. He could be the teenage Voldemort or the Regulus. I'm thinking the Regulus because it takes place in the cave, I believe, and. Why the ball is he screaming? Regulus, who drinks the potion, will be screaming. Even if we don't find it out through the seventh book, but who cares? Um, the opal scene. When, you know, Katie, if he hates the necklace, that was cool. That was cool. See, I like. That was cool. The Infernia cool. I love it. It's kind of weird and like this shape in. But not like zombies, but I like it. Um, the set, from what I saw, the set and separate scene, good. Snape. The whole, it's over thing. I'm not really sure about that. I don't, because I don't want them to just, because I was, I don't want them to make it obvious that Snape is good. Because there are a lot of fans, Harry Potter fans out there, which do not read the books. They just watch the movies, which they just read books, but, you know, people aren't readers. They watch the movies. So they used to have these same... Oh my god. Snake killed... Kills Dumbledore. What happened? Oh yeah, you never read the books. I'm so sorry. I just spoiled it for you. Look, I'm gonna put that in the comments somewhere, whatever they are. That, mm, yeah, spoiler alert. If you have not read the book. So people... And then, they need it, they might want that surprise, but if you make it blatantly obvious that Snape is good, it's like, oh. Then, and then when you get to the very end of, um, when you start movie, when you find out he's never living, then it's not going to be, there's no point to it. So I hope they don't do that. I hope they, you know, they feel like he is evil, but he is just bad, he's been bad the entire time, and, you know, yeah. Um, 
But how are you doing that was kind of cool, but I'm not very fond of him. I don't have him. Which is true, what someone said on an awesome YouTube. No, no wonder. But I mean, you know, I'm them. Since you normally like secondary characters, and I normally do. Like, Cyrus, secondary character. Love him. Want to marry him. If I could, I would. I'm not sure about that. If I could marry Cyrus, I would marry Cyrus. Which is why I think of bad people for love of Edward, because I'm not a big person for that. But, like, I, I love Seth. And the secondary character is me. So, trailer, good. Watch it. And it was like one point where, like, Dumbledore sounds like Gandalf in Lord of the Rings. I like, that's Gandalf. It's Gandalf. Hmm. I wonder who would win. Gandalf or Dumbledore? Think about that. Who would win? I wonder. Let's think about this. I don't have any time to think about this. If you go over 10 minutes on YouTube, they cut you off. Crap. Alright. I'll do that in a second. 